This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Thanks for checking out one of our past live sessions. If you had fun and enjoyed it, we'll hope you tune in for one of our future lives. And remember, if you're one of our paid members, you can watch these and all the rest of them anytime on your platform. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. So glad to see you all here. We are gonna be making these fun little melted ice cream cone cupcakes. Yay, right? Uh, I went with the minty green on my buttercream and I figured before we get started into that, I can show you what we can do with just a plain tip since people seem to like the little star tips tutorial from last week. And I've got some light green in here cause I love myself some mint chocolate chip and I have a number 12 tip on it, and I'm just gonna do a few quick techniques that you can do with one of these large plain round tips. So the first thing would be to pipe a dot, and you just wanna go up off the surface, right? Squeeze and let that line of frosting connect, and then continue squeezing until you get a nice ball of the size you want. Stop, and then gently, oop, the paper doesn't wanna behave, slide it off to the side, and that'll give you a nice, round, kind of perfect looking dot. Right? The other thing you can do that's really easy when you want to decorate something is make hearts. Right? So this, you want to build up and then pull right? as you're still piping and then go the other direction. And green hearts aren't exactly the loveliest thing, but you can easily do these in pink and red and cover the outside of a whole cake with them. When it comes to piping straight lines, you can use them to make patterns. The key is you want to touch the surface you're piping on, lift up as you squeeze, and let your lines drop into place. And when you finish, touch down, stop squeezing, and then pull away. And that keeps you from getting big blobs at the beginning of your lines and tails at the end. So I'm going to try and mess one up to show you what that is, right? So if you start squeezing before you touch your surface, right, you can see you can't really control where the frosting is going. So even if you pipe a beautiful line, right, and if you're still squeezing at the end, you get kind of like these weird little caterpillar things, right? So one thing I always tell people to work on is work on piping your lines. It's the best way to develop your piping skills and it'll make all your projects look really, really neat. Classic thing to do on the bottom of cakes would be a shell border, right? where you're holding the bag at like a 45 degree angle in relation to the surface, you let that frosting build up and balloon over, and then you pull while you're still piping. And when you join them together, it makes, oh, as long as the bag doesn't burp, a lovely border for the bottom of your cake, right? And then there's the classic reverse shell, which is also nice. And then another thing we can do with this tip is similar to the heart, but you just keep going, right? And make a flower. Obviously prettier in a pink, purple, or white with a cute little yellow center, right? Which you can do by making a nice little dot. And those are just some basic things that you can do with your plain tips. Number 12 is easy for us to see, right? in this kind of environment, but you can do it with any size. So I'll put this aside and we'll get started on our actual project for today, which is making our little ice cream cone cupcakes. Yay! And the first thing I'm gonna do is make my little cones. You can buy cones and kind of break off the tips if you want. I find that's wasteful unless you're gonna actually eat the rest of the cone or do something with it, which if you're gonna crunch it up and use it on the side of the cake, go ahead, it's one less step for you. I just made a little light tan colored fondant. So I used a little brown, a little yellow, and a little orange to get a nice color. I'm gonna take my little roller, right? And just roll this out quickly. And we're a little sticky today. So I'm just gonna use a little vegetable shortening right there to kind of grease that up, make sure my project doesn't stick to the surface. While you're rolling this, there is a question. Oh, um, sure. Um, what can be used instead of fondant? Um, you could use gum paste, uh, pastillage. You could also use things like uh, Choco Pan makes modeling chocolate or Marzipan, uh, if you know how to make that and like that. Uh, so basically anything that can be used as a sugar clay or sugar paste. 
right? Uh, or even a fortune cookie batter, right? If you know how to make fortune cookies or twills, uh, there are little thin cookies that can be baked quickly and you can just kind of roll them up yourself. So I'm using a fondant impression mat to do my little grid. And since my cones are small, I'm actually going to offset it and roll it again, right? And that'll give me a nice tight pattern. Right? And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're just making little ice cream cones for cupcakes. And I have a nice cookie cutter that worked out to be a beautiful size. I'm going to cut that out. And then, oh, I misplaced my spatula. Will you hand me that really quickly? Sorry. And I'm going to cut this in half and then roll it up so it's a nice cone right? Yay. And the key here is you don't want the fondant to be too thick because then they'll be too heavy, right? So you can just use anything you've got on hand, spatula, knife, bench scraper to cut that in half, right? And it's a little counterintuitive. I like to lay them towards myself like this, like it's a half moon and start about halfway down, right? And just start rolling up. And then you just kind of roll along the edges like that to make your cones, right? And then that gives you a nice little ice cream cone with that nice little waffly pattern in it. Sorry, the lighting, it's a little hard to see. So we'll do that one more time, right? Start about halfway, roll that over and then just roll the whole thing along the edges and that'll give you a nice little ice cream cone. And I let mine set up for about a day before I went to use them on my cupcakes. And so for my cupcakes, I did kind of two makeups and you can see once it's set up, it's really easy to take a cone, right? And you can kind of just smash it on there yeah um and so i did a green base on one and a ganache base on the other one and the key here is i'm going to oh, pipe a nice wiggly wavy line around the outside with either my green or my ganache and hopefully my ganache behaves because it's a little chilly in here today, so I've been warming it up in my hand, right? And then fill that in with the ganache, like it's all nice and melty, right? So that one question before we uh, we move ahead, how to keep some of these cupcakes dry from uh, after decorating. So you can actually put it in a box and then saran wrap the box and then it should keep it um, from drying out before your party. What do you think, Amy? Yes. So, and if you have to make things ahead of time, you can always give it a little squirt of simple syrup on the cupcakes that'll soak into the cake and give it extra moisture to evaporate. And then when we're doing things in advance, we always box them up and wrap the box really well. And that'll keep the moisture inside and keep your cupcakes from drying out. All right. So I added a few sprinkles on top of that. And then I'm just going to do what I did earlier when I piped a nice, big dot, right? And if your cones are light enough, you can go right on it with the cone, right? If you made kind of heavy cones, I would put your stuff in the fridge for a few minutes just to let that mound of frosting set up before you go cone happy, right? And then the other thing I did was ganache on the outside first and then green in the middle. Give it a little whoop, of sprinkles. And again, a nice big dot. And you can get kind of crazy on this one. You can do different flavors, right? Um, I always love dreamsicle ice cream, so you can always add things like a little orange zest and some extra vanilla to a yellow cake batter. Uh, do the same thing with the frosting. It makes some lovely summer flavors. 
right? But that is the basics, and then you can kind of take it and go wild. You can add things like chocolate chips, candy, and other stuff, and it's a great way to decorate fun cupcakes for the kids in summer. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.